a technical currency trading in 2016, Euro British Pound Part 1. Technical currency trading in 2016, Euro British Pound Part 1. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good day, good night. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 Traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. The title of this video is Technical Currency Trading in 2016, Euro, British Pound, Part 1. Okay, this is the first video in the series of videos that we are recording okay, today relating to the Euro British pound currency pair. In around 15 or 20 of February 2016, I will be recording the second part of this video, and somewhere between August and September 2016, I will be recording the third part of this series of video relating to the euro british pound currency pair all right in the first part of this series of video we want to talk about okay technical currency trading in 2016 euro british pound okay part one okay we are now on the daily charts as you can see okay if i zoom into it uh, you can see that the price is finding a support near this uh, turquoise uh, Okay, trend line. Now, which line is this? Why the professional traders decided, okay, uh, to pause the price, so to speak, because you can see that uh, uh, from March uh, 2015, okay, up to October 2015, the price was bouncing between uh, the orange line and the green line here. So we have uh, a consolidation that was taking place here, okay? So the price was oscillating between the orange line and the green line, okay? Now the price breaks above the orange line. So normally, as a multi-talented trader, we will project the width of uh, the previous channel, the channel between uh, the orange line and the green line, in the direction of the price, because the price breaks above it, which is bringing us near the pink line. I don't want to draw another line to above the, 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 the pink line so I just say somewhere near the pink line okay somewhere near the pink line but as you can see as the price breaks above the orange line okay is uh, now stopping near okay is pausing it's slowing down near the turquoise line which line is this okay I will explain it to you in a minute okay and also which line is the orange line here Okay, why? You can see on a daily chart, the price finding a resistance each time near the orange line. Now it breaks above the orange line. Now you find a support near this uh, turquoise line. Okay. Now, one of the common trading mistakes that uh, ordinary traders are making is that they are taking trading signal, okay, anywhere, anyhow. Or uh, they will look for trading setups, okay anywhere anyhow very often okay high probability trading setup will take place okay somewhere near a hot spot trading zone somewhere near a key support or resistance level or somewhere near okay a highly influential trend line okay as you can see here it's not by chance that the price is, is it, you know it breaks above the, the turquoise line and it's pausing here there's a reason why the price stop here also if you pay attention to the orange line the prior was finding the resistance here and also somewhere near the low here okay there are different reasons okay so professional know those are key level okay the gray line okay the orange line uh, the turquoise line on my chart and also the pink line on my chart so what we are trying to do talking about uh, technical uh, Currency trading in 2016, trading the euro British pound currency pair. All right, what we want traders to do this year is uh, to look for high probability trading setup, okay, on or near a specific key level. All right, I will be giving you, okay, throughout this video, okay, some uh, several, okay, key levels that professionals are watching, okay, so. 
you will if you are a swing trader you will look for okay trading setup on on here those key level if you are day trader you'll do exactly the same thing what is taking place my friend the, as you can see here the price was going from the green line to the orange line and then you see it come down again from the orange line to the green line now you see the price went for the orange line to the turquoise line it breaks about the turquoise line now it's trying to validate okay the turquoise line as a support level all right so professional know where are those key level and that's why the price is doing this so you want to know where the price is likely to change direction those are the areas where you want to trade okay so you don't just buy and sell anywhere anyhow whether you are day trading or swing trading or as an investor okay all right so let's get started okay so the first thing that i want to show you the turquoise line is the media line of a declining channel or the monthly chart the monthly chart market pattern or monthly chart channel okay is reflecting to us okay the market sentiment okay so it's because it's a declining channel it's a declining market pattern it's a bearish market pattern it's telling us that the market is bearish towards the euro gbp or the euro british pound currency pair okay so in this scenario what we will look for if we are in a declining channel we will look for overbought okay trading setups if you are in a rising channel we will be looking for oversold okay trading setup so in a declining channel okay the overbought trading setup will take place somewhere along the upper side of the channel okay now remember according to the definition of a downtrend if the price is going down the price might display lower lows and lower high so look carefully on my chart the previous low before this is the previous low before the last low is a psychological price level if the price goes above the pink line that's why i put it there in pink to get your attention because ladies can trade better than men all right so if the price goes above the pink line which is the previous low and which is also a psychological price level and we see a bullish trade setup somewhere up here above the pink line okay we will trade it so at this point in time all i will say to traders priority to bullish signals okay or at this point in time the priority to bullish signal above the pink line now the pink line is seven eight four five seven eight four five note it down have a notebook for the euro gbp okay so the first key level that i want you to remember is this one here seven eight four five okay don't forget it okay so we will see what we are saying to trade priority to bullish signal only uh, to bullish signal if the price goes above the level of 7845 okay very very important so as long as it stay below the pink line we will prefer to sell but it doesn't mean that we cannot buy okay remember what i show you on the daily chart it doesn't mean that we cannot buy if we are buying below the pink line okay we need to be a little bit careful that's all so as you can see the price went above the, the turquoise trend line now it's posing here now if we we are using a top-down trading method here because this is a kind of a trading setup here a bullish trading setup here if we receive okay we use a top-down trading method and we see a clear count buy signal we will if the price start going up we will take we will be we will be prepared to take profit somewhere near the pink line but the euro gbp currency pair throughout 2016 will become very very bullish if the price breaks above the pink line okay and a pull back to validate the pink line as a valid support level so we want it to break above to run away above the pink line and to pull back to retest the pink line and to confirm the pink line as a support level break above retest turn around that's what we call validation of a trend line as a support level so breaks a ball retest that's why i say priority to bullish signal that the euro gbp the euro british pound will become very very bullish if we have a scenario where the price breaks above the pink line and the final support and start displaying higher lows higher high okay for instance on the daily chart at least all right on the daily chart we will know that the euro gbp is becoming very very bullish so priority to bullish signal okay above the pink line 
Where we are now, we have a bullet train set up somewhere near the, the Chukwa straight line. If it's going up, we need to watch out for the pink line. But if we are buying below the pink line, we need to be gentle, 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 because we are still in a declining channel. Okay, it makes sense? Another thing I need to mention to traders, though we want to be bullish above the pink line, don't forget, okay, you see how I draw my trailer at the top of this uh, candle here on my, I'm on a weekly chart, this is a weekly chart. So if you are drawing and see the weekly chart, I draw it from here. And I draw this point also, these two points here, okay. All right. August, uh, uh, August 2013, and I joined it with, uh, okay, January 2009, okay, so here, this point, this point allowed me to draw this trend line, and I choose one point here, just this point here, to make it parallel to the top one, so I have my channel ready, and the Chukwa's line is the media line of my declining channel, as you can see, the price breaks above the media line, and it's retesting it here. But the, the Euro GBP will become very, very bullish if it finds support above the psychological price level 7845, okay, which is the pink line on my chart. But as we are giving priority to bullish signal above the pink line, do not forget this trend line also here. Do not ignore the trend line here, okay? All right? It makes sense? It is also powerful. So the first key level is 7845. The next key level, note it down, 74. 097409. Okay, first key level 7845. Second key level 7409. The, the orange line here, this is uh, the media line of 2015. That's the media line of 2015. Okay, the third key level that we must not forget throughout 2016, if you are trading the Euro British pound currency pair. Is 6932. 6932 is the pink line, is uh, the light green line here on my chart. It's the low of 2015. So we have the low of 2015, 6932. The media line of 2015, 7409. And the pink line here is uh, the low before the last low. So I just selected here. I need to mention to traders that uh, the high of 2015 is just a little bit above the pink line. I don't want to draw it. So the high of 2015 is just a little bit above the pink line. But I don't want to draw it, okay? I prefer the pink line. You see how I draw it? I didn't go completely below uh, this low here. I just choose it somewhere in the middle here. I like it like this. Uh, somewhere you see here also it go a little bit, a little bit below. I prefer this level 4845. It will become bullish if it, be, it goes above it, breaks above. All right, probably you you breaks above it, okay, uh, to retest uh, the trend line, okay, and then pull back, okay, uh, to confirm the pink line, okay, as a valid support. The price does not have to do it. It does not have to do exactly as we expected it. It may display a higher high, a higher low here, all right? But in normal condition, we will prefer it to do something like this, okay? It does not have to do exactly as we are expecting it here, okay? But it would be nice if we see something like this, breaks above the pink line to, 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 to okay? To tag, okay? All right, as it's going out, to continue, pull back and then go. Now, it may do something also like this. It may go, as you can see, pull back to retest the turquoise line. It may go a little bit up to touch the pink line also. There are different scenarios, or maybe pull back a little bit again before, okay, breaking above it, and then go and hit the edge of, uh, okay, the channel, probably pulling back again to retest the pink line before going up, okay? Something like that. But as I explained to you, the price does not have to do as we are expecting. But the price, what it did now, it breaks above the turquoise line. It's now retesting the turquoise line. Where we can now use a top-down trading method to trade it. Because we are near a key trend line. We are near a high impact okay, trend line, which is the media line of uh, okay, the, 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 the bearish trend line. But because the market pattern is bearish, we need to be careful. The only time we will be completely bullish is when the price starts displaying higher lows, higher high, above the pink line, 
But as it's going up above the peak line, be aware of uh, this trail line here. So I'm on a weekly chart as I draw my trail line. You see here, draw, draw, draw this point, join this point with this point here. As I show you, just select this point here to make a line parallel to the first one. And then select the media line right here. As you can see, we have the media line of 2015, 7409. Okay, the low of 2015, 6932. And the high, uh, uh, and the pink line, 7845, which is quite close to the high of 2015. It makes sense. This is about technical currency trading in 2016. All right, technical currency trading in 2016. Euro, British pound, a part one. As I explained to you already, in um, somewhere near 15 of uh, okay, February 2016, between 15 and 20 of February 2016, I will be recording the second part of this video. All right. Today is the 3rd of February 2016, and also somewhere between August and September 2016, I will be recording the third part of this video. In the second and the third part, I will be talking about the, the equilibrium price level, the long-term equilibrium price level for the Euro GBP currency pair or the Euro British pound currency pair. Okay? So to summarize this video for traders, traders must look for high probability trading setup on on year, okay? The first key level, 7845, all right? The second key level, 7409, and the third key level, 6932. There is also a trend line, the, the turquoise trend line, and also the blue line, and this blue line here. As always, we are looking for a, top, a high probability trade setup, then we will apply a top-down trading method to trade it, all right? Very, very important. If one is trading currency pair, one will always pay attention to the economy news, checking the forex factory, all right? The economy news will change the dynamics of, okay, the technical analysis. That's why we call this technical currency trading in 2016, Euro British pound, okay, part one. But the job is not finished until we start combining, okay, the technical analysis and the fundamental, okay? All right, so if, if I want to show you quickly the bigger picture on the yearly chart, you see it's still in a declining channel, all right, right here, this is the yearly chart. If we go quickly uh, to the monthly chart, you see it's still the same channel. If we go to the daily charts, okay, here we are on the daily chart. The price break, you see, there was a consolidation here. If you project uh, the size of this channel, as I showed at the beginning of this video, it's somewhere near the pink line. We are now posing here. It's just, Okay, so we'll see whether it's going to break below. So if it breaks below the, the turquoise line and find a resistance, it will come back down near the orange line. Don't forget, be ready to buy and be ready to sell and do not assume anything. Step by step, look for, okay, high probability trading setup near a hot spot trading zone or a key support or resistance or trend line and then use a top-down trading method to trade it. Always combine the technical, technical analysis and the fundamental. Okay, all right, all right. If you have any question, put it in the comment section. And in due course, we'll record another video to, to answer your question, all right? Remember that we cannot answer all questions, but if we can, we will answer, okay, some of the questions, all right? Or we may contact you personally to explain to you what's going on, okay? All right, it makes sense? We wish you the very best in your training, and until the next time, enjoy yourself. And be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about technical currency trading in 2016, Euro British Pound Part 1. See you in Part 2 somewhere near the 20th of February 2016. Speak to you soon now.